Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of CS Mentor. So there will be a time in which you will be asked to review a conference paper. And so how to do that? Well, in this video we try to answer that question. We will go through the review form and its different parts, also how you're going to make up your mind about the content and quality of a paper. And then finally, at the end of the video, we are going to cover the do's and don'ts of reviewing a conference paper. So make sure that you stick until the end. And finally, before we begin, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel so that more students can actually benefit from the content of this channel. So let's start from the review form. This is the form that you need to fill in order to complete your review. This form has several components. And so now let's discuss these components. The first part of the review form generally requires to summarize what are the strength of the paper. So here in a ballot form list and short sentences, you should summarize what you like of this paper. For example, that the problem is relevant, that it is well written, that the results are very meaningful, that significantly improves the state of the art, etc. So the second part of the review form generally requires to summarize similarly to the previous block, what are the weaknesses of the paper? So again, in a ballot form list and short sentences, you should summarize what you didn't like of the paper. So what, for example, you would have liked to have seen in the paper, what should be better discussed, what was not convincing, what are some assumptions that, for example, sound unrealistic, if the experiments have been complete or not, etc. And finally, the last section are the detailed comments about your review. So first, in this part, you need to summarize the content of the paper. So what you want is want to show the authors of the paper. You actually have reviewed the paper, you know the paper, and you can summarize its content. Then after that, you can expand on the weaknesses. So for each bullet point that you wrote in the weaknesses, and potentially even for other aspects that we have not detailed in the weaknesses, you can actually expand and discuss more in detail what you would have liked to have done. So the idea is that the others can understand why they're getting a certain score for that paper. And here you can also add some suggestions or requests of things that should be improved in order for the paper to be accepted. So here, remember that this is a conference format. So this is gonna be kind of limited in what you can ask, but you can still uh, request some small changes that can be addressed in the final version of the paper. There are generally two scores that you need to provide as part of your review. The first one is about the paper. So you need to say if you want the paper to be accepted, rejected, or maybe something in between. While the second one is about your familiarity. So how confident you are about this specific subject topic that has been uh, addressed in the paper. And this usually go from expert to no familiarity. Let's now discuss what to look for while we review a paper in order to complete the review form. So the first thing that I assess when I review a paper is the quality of writing. So how well the paper is written, how clear it is, how easy it is to follow the paper, etc. Then I assess how relevant is the problem. Is this a current problem? Are there many researchers working on it? Is it a new problem? Or maybe it's an old problem that has been solved many, many times before. Then does the paper provide a comprehensive analysis of the state of the art, making a good case for the contribution of this paper. Then how is the problem solved? Do the techniques that are used are novel? Does it make a significant contribution? Also, are these techniques, techniques technically sound and correct under reasonable assumption and realistic assumption or not? Then what are the quality of the results? So first, how have the results been generated using some realistic simulator, some real experiments, or maybe some a homemade experiments under not very convincing assumptions or setting. And also, are the results comprehensive, analyzing the problem from many different dimensions in order to see the performance in a variety of different contexts? Then, is there a comparison with the state of the art? This is not necessarily a requirement, but it's generally very appreciated if you compare your approach with some previous approaches that have been proposed in the same context and to solve the same problem. Also, are the results well discussed? So do the others explain the trend that we observe, maybe some unusual behavior of some algorithms that are maybe not as intuitive to, uh, to explain? And finally, of course, are the performance good enough to justify the contribution of this paper? Finally, I think it's also important to assess how complete is the paper with respect of the venue. So if this is a workshop paper, maybe of just four pages, or maybe even a work in progress paper with just two pages, well, you should expect a contribution that is different if you are submitting instead of a 
conference, which, which maybe is a top level conference and has a 11 or 10 pages long paper. Finally, let's discuss some do's and don'ts in reviewing a paper. So first you need to submit your reviews on time by the deadline so that the TPC chairs can decide which paper should be accepted and which paper should be rejected for the conference. Then don't be afraid of judging other people's words. I know that we have all been in that position in which our work has been rejected. This has been hard on us, but our job as a reviewers is to provide an honest assessment of the contribution of the papers in our opinion. Then review the paper like you would like yours to be reviewed. So provide a complete, constructive and honest uh, assessment of the paper. Do not be too mean, do not be too brief. Make sure that you read the paper and that you provide constructive comments to improve the paper for the next uh, version. Make sure also to write comments in a clear, polite, firm and constructive manner. Again, so that the authors can use these comments in order to improve the paper either in the camera ready version for this conference if it is accepted or maybe to submit it to another conference in the future. Also be consistent with your scores. So do not provide a negative review and then give accept or provide a positive review and then give a reject. Also do not write, oh, I don't know anything about this topic. So this give, gives a very bad impression to the others that think that their review, their paper has been reviewed by someone that had no idea what this was. So if you have been assigned this paper to review, whoever assigned to you thought that you were able to review the paper. And even if you don't know this specific topic, I'm confident that you can still assess how well the paper is written, how complete the paper is. And looking at this video, now you have an idea of what are the different components that you can assess, even if you're not necessarily an expert in that topic. And then finally, make sure to uh, make requests and demands that are feasible with the conference format. So if you think that the paper requires significant changes in order to be accepted, then maybe it's just not ready to be accepted in this conference. You can ask for relatively small improvements that can be addressed in the camera ready version of the paper, if you want, of course, the paper to be accepted. So this concludes this video and thank you very much for your attention. I hope you are enjoying this content. Again, remember to like and subscribe to the channel and see you at the next video. Goodbye.